Before you try to understand things like polarization, superposition, or other more difficult aspects of physics like quantum physics, you need to gain an understanding of the basic properties of waves. Here's a video lesson for you to understand how waves are generated. And throughout this video, we are going to define some of the vocabulary associated with waves. Feel free to write down any of your own notes, just like I'm doing in the video. There are different methods of categorizing waves. One way is to base it on how the wave is generated, whether it requires a medium to travel through or not. In other words, can it travel through empty space? First, take a look at the category of mechanical waves. An example of mechanical waves is the wave that you get when you sway a slinky from side to side. Other examples are waves made by a jump probe, water waves, and even sound wave and seismic waves are considered to be mechanical waves. A mechanical wave is a wave that is generated through the oscillation of physical particles. You can think of these as tangible waves. They require matter to travel through, and that's why you can't hear sound in a vacuum. The next category is electromagnetic waves. These waves are, for example, waves that you get from sunlight, a light from a laser pen, a light bulb, and the microwave that you use to heat up your food. Remember the whole electromagnetic spectrum that you would have come across in GCSE? These are all EM waves. These EM waves, like visible lights, can travel through empty space. This is why sunlight can reach the Earth from outer space. Visualizing EM waves is slightly more complicated because we can't actually see its pattern like we can see, let's say, a ripple. But we can simplify the idea of EM wave by thinking of it as a combination of an electric field and a magnetic field. Recall that an electron flowing through a wire has an electric field? and a magnet has a magnetic field around it. Put them together, perpendicular to each other, then you get an EM wave. And by convention, we draw the electric field vertically and the magnetic field horizontally. So there, we have our electromagnetic wave. It's not as simple as this, but for the purpose of studying for A-level, this is all we need to know. In part 2 of this video lesson, we're going to look at the second method of categorizing waves. Thanks for watching!